So I have two little kids and they like to get into everything. And so in today's video, I am on a mission to find the best baby gates. As you can see here, I have a ridiculous amount of baby gates installed in my house right now. I'll go through and talk about everything that I've found, um, the top five baby gates for different situations, depending on how your house is set up or different uh, ways you wanna set up your baby gate. As you see, we have lots of different ones here, lots of different styles of baby gates. I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons of each of these gates as we go through here, which ones are best for stairs, which ones are better, better best for wide areas, best value. Um, you can see we got another one installed right here, another one up here, and then I even have two more right there. So my wife's going crazy with all these gates here, but after this video, I'll be able to take some of them down. I'll talk about which ones are worth keeping in this video. So after researching, installing, and testing many of these baby gates, I wanted to narrow them down just to the top five. There's many others that I tested that I didn't want to mention in this video because I didn't want to waste your time talking about gates that I would not recommend. So I wanted to highlight these gates for the things that they do best. So we have a category for the best value, the best no drill gate, the best retractable gate, the best freestanding gate, and the best overall gate. So the first gate we are going to be looking at today is the Regalo Easy Open Gate. This gate fits areas between 29 and 47 inches and measures 30 inches tall. The setup for this gate took a little bit longer than the other gates because the actual gate part comes in two separate pieces that need to be screwed together. But besides that, the installation was still pretty easy. This gate is mounted with a four pack pressure mounted kit that can be drilled into the wall, ensuring a rock solid installation. The gates lat mechanism can be a little bit tricky to operate initially and wasn't as smooth as some of the other gates that I'll be going over in this video. Some other things to note about this gate is that the gate opening is only 16 inches, which is much narrower than most of the other gates we will be discussing in this video. The gate does open both ways, but it does not have an auto close feature. So although this is missing some of the features in the other gates, this gate is actually by far one of the most affordable gates on the market and a very reliable one. So for me, this gate wins the award of best value. And I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, but if you are interested in any of these gates, you can check them out in the links down below. And if you are finding this video helpful, it would mean the world to me if you would subscribe to the channel and like the video. It does help a small channel like mine grow. The next gate we are going to be looking at is the Cumber Retractable Baby Gate. This gate is 33 inches tall and can extend to 55 inches wide. When I first got this gate, I thought the installation was going to be a pain, but it came with this drilling uh, slash mounting template that made it actually really easy. I have absolutely loved having this gate at the bottom of our stairs. Before we had one of the standard gates at the bottom of our stairs. So every time we went up and down, we had to open and close the gate. And that gets kind of repetitive and annoying, but obviously you need a gate there to keep your baby from going up or down the stairs. But having this retractable gate is an option for you to have a gate there only when you need it, not every single time. So now when we don't want our baby going up the stairs, we just simply close it and any other time we just keep it open. And when we have guests over, I've also noticed that this looks a lot nicer than the other gate as well. I was also impressed with the strength of it and how it could hold my two and a half year old um, in. You can see at the top here, there's this little lock function, which basically when you go to give that a tug, you'll notice that it doesn't move anywhere. So it held her in no problem at all. I was really impressed with the strength of this thing. However, I would say I, this isn't a gate I would recommend at the top of your stairs, even though it is really strong and sturdy. Just for me personally, I would prefer a normal steel gate at the top of the stairs because ultimately it is stronger than this gate right here. So this gate is best for anybody who has a high traffic area that doesn't always need a gate and wants a more slim, cleaner look um, when it comes to buying a baby gate. Now the next gate we are going to talk about came about because as I was installing all these gates, I was drilling a lot of holes in my walls and I wanted to search for the gate, a gate that didn't require drilling for anybody who wanted that kind of option. And that's when I came across the balance from easy walkthrough safety gate. This is a gate that requires no drilling into your wall. It's very easy to go through and set up, which also makes it great for traveling if you wanted to take this traveling with you. The standard size comes between 29 and 38 inches, but they do have extensions that you can buy to get it up to 62 inches. A couple other things to point out about this gate is it does open up both ways and it does have an auto close feature, which is awesome. And it does have a stay open feature. After you get it past the 90 degrees, it will stay open. It also has one of the wider gate openings at 20 inches. Two things that I don't necessarily like about this gate is the latch itself. Um, it's a little bit confusing and there are, it isn't straightforward. There isn't like a button. You have to kind of pull it and then lift it up. The other thing is obviously because this isn't mounted to a wall or anything, it's not going to be as strong as some of the other gates. But this is by far the best gate if you are looking for a no drill option. Now we just found the best option for no drilling, but I did want to find an option for anybody who wants a gate that didn't require a wall. Basically it could be freestanding. That's when I came across this Toddler Roo by North States. 
This is a three in one metal super yard. It can basically act as a playpen gate around your kid or it measures 151 inches long. So this could be for extra, extra wide spaces. Because it is a three in one, you can mount it to a door or a wall if you wanted to. You could have it freestanding or you could even use it as a barrier. Some of the things that I really like about this is how easy it actually is to go through and set up. It folds very easily so you can actually use this to transport if you wanted to and use it as kind of a playpen style thing. The three in one option is also great because you can use this at different times in your baby's life, either as a gate or as the playpen. And a couple of things to call out about this is of course, this isn't going to be great for a kind of normal door opening. This is for wider or kind of awkward kind of door opening. And the gate opening on this is actually the smallest out of any of the gates here at 15 inches. And the next gate we're going to be talking about is actually my number one overall recommended baby gate. It's actually the mom choice awards winner for 2022. And I see why after getting my hands on this gate and actually going through and installing it. This is the cumber pressure mounted walkthrough safety gate. This gate measures 30 inches tall and can cover gaps between 30 inches to up to 57 inches. So quite a bit of length there. What's great about this gate as well as there's three different ways to actually install it. You can either drill it into the wall or it does come with these nice little sticky pads. If you didn't want to damage the wall that you could go through and install them with, that's what I chose to do. Um, and I found it worked really well, or you could even use this without drilling or the sticky pads. If you would just wanted to use the pressure mounting system. This gate does have a self-closing feature and a stay open feature too. If you want to, once you get it up to 90 degrees, you can kind of keep it open there. It does open up both ways and the gate opening itself is the widest at 24 inches. And the latch on this thing is by far my favorite. It's a very easy to use. You just push it open and then lift. It also does come with these nice little rail guards that you put in the areas where you use the extenders to make sure that it's reinforced for when kids are pushing on it, that that part doesn't break which is something that not a lot of baby gates come with. So if you can't tell, I really like this baby gate. This is the baby gate that I trust to be on top of my stairs, kind of our main baby gate that we have. One of the cons of this, of course, because with all these features and things, this is on more of the pricier side, but you ultimately get what you pay for when it comes to this gate. So this gate is going to be my number one overall recommendation if you're looking for a baby gate. And one other bonus gate that I want to throw in here that I did test as well is the Cumber 36 inch extra tall one. This basically is the exact same as the gate that we just talked about comes with all the same things, except this is great. If you need a gate, that's a little bit taller. All of these gates that we talked about today are only 30 inches tall. If you needed an extra tall option, this one is 36 inches. So I wanted to throw that out there for anybody who is looking for a taller gate. So hopefully you found this video helpful and now understand which baby gate might be best for you and your family and your kids, dogs, pets, anything that you have running around that you're wanting to keep out of different places. Uh, a reminder that all of the gates are linked down below if you wanted to get your hands on any of these and support the channel. And also, if you are wanting to support the channel, it really does help a ton if you like and subscribe to the video. It helps a small channel like this to grow and get out to more people so that I can make more review videos just like this. Um, so thank you so much for the support and we'll see you in the next one.